Hello viewers, myself Dr. Kishaloy Roy. As far as I am concerned, I am a PhD in management and uh, as a person I have always believed or have liked to believe that pain is mightier than the sword. But in my life, uh, it has been a long long time uh, that I have understood that uh, in the present day world, uh, pain is definitely not mightier than the sword. In almost all the cases, wherever there is money power, there is political power, uh, pain can do nothing. And that's the reason why we find a sad state of affairs as far as the country's so-called journalists are concerned, the overall reporting is concerned, everywhere. We find that uh, pain has been blunted uh, by politicians uh, and uh, by everyone every Tom, Dick and Harry who happens to be powerful in uh, some way or the other. Now coming to this particular uh, topic where I speak common sense and I mention it as let's talk common sense. I will be uh, speaking about few little things uh, related to the Kolkata horror that has uh, overwhelmed each one of us hopefully. Uh, each one of us who are sensitive to what is happening around us and who are not just restricted to our selfish uh, interests, vested interests and uh, are genuinely concerned about the world where we are living. Uh, so the first and foremost thing is like yesterday we I came across uh, certain directives being issued by the Supreme Court of India. Now, there is no dearth of uh, policies, government policies, directives issued by the judiciary in this country. But the problem is execution. And when it comes to execution, it has to be an honest execution and it has to be a consistent execution. And that's where it lacks. Because execution has to happen at the individual level. Now, individuals in this country uh, what sort of a mentality they are possessing we are already seeing at a grassroots level, at the middle level, at the top level, wherever. So how can we expect that for what has been going on for all these years, suddenly uh, by issuing these directives there will be any such uh, change that will be happening? Because at the end of the day these changes have to be brought by the micro environment and merely these policies existing in the macro environment is not going to make any changes, any difference to the society at large. That is very, very clear. So I don't understand that how these directives are actually going to uh, help uh, or help as far as the cause of women's safety is concerned. The next important thing is uh, the Indian Medical Association, which I find that many in its fraternity are equating the cause of uh, women's safety at workplace with doctors shielding themselves from the onslaught of uh, patient parties when their patient dies. See, yesterday, perhaps on India Today, I was hearing one women panelist uh, was speaking that doctors never want to kill a patient. Well, I beg to differ, if a doctor actually wishes to kill a patient, in that case, uh, he or she does not stay a doctor anymore, rather becomes a culprit. So let's not talk about this bullshit, where it says that the doctor never wants to kill a patient. But doctors do kill patients because of their negligence, because they are ill-informed, because of their incompatibility. And here, doctors need to be reprimanded. They are not gods. They are not gods, definitely they are not gods and hence they need to be reprimanded for their mistakes. When the hospitals don't reprimand them, there has to be some sort of reprimanding that has to happen. Even in most cases the patient parties don't get justice uh, as far as the judiciary is concerned in such cases and I have been a victim of that. So I know it very very clearly what I am saying. So there is no, uh, there is the, the Indian Medical Association is going a wrong way, absolutely wrong way. Please stick to demanding justice for the victim. Please speak about how you can ensure and enhance women's safety at the workplace. 
this particular kolkata incident that has happened it has been caused by the people at the workplace and no one else in the first place please let us understand this thing so how much of apps you develop and how much you toll free numbers and all those things you develop at the end of the day we all know that apps don't work at the right time and toll free numbers just forget about them such toll free numbers never ever come to the rescue of people hardly they have ever come to the rescue of people when that is actually required so in this case if something can be done by the indian medical association they should actually be concerned about women safety at the workplace even after this incident yesterday only in the newspaper there were reports of a nurse being raped by a doctor in up we have also come about the, come across the incident of badlapur where i don't understand this uh, mentality of the sweeper who has uh, raped a 3 year old one day and a 4 year old the next day so how easy they find this thing doing when the country is boiling with this particular issue still people are going that way and they are not at all afraid of going that way yesterday even in this in this city of calcutta there was a pretty little plumber who tried to grope a, a nurse uh, in the middle of the road at night so where we are staying we speak about directives we speak about uh, god knows what what do you think that this is going to make a better country definitely not when the people concerned when the citizens concerned do not change for the better we cannot make it a better country just by formulating policies and directives at the end of the day what i i i, uh, I will like to conclude by saying that as far as this particular matter is concerned i don't find anything constructive anything exemplary anything satisfying uh, to expect over here because already we find political parties who are pointing fingers at each other and celebrities who have uh, who are gung ho about this particular issue uh, uh, at this point of time now when these two things happen hardly we get anything constructive out of it rather what we get is an unnecessary buzz and that buzz is only to do favor to political parties and celebrities it is just about stealing the limelight and nothing more so at the end of the day if something constructive something satisfying is to happen we have been as ordinary citizens pre pressing one thing day after day year after year that such heinous crime should be awarded death penalties and those death penalties have to be in an exemplary way then only the citizens of those of this country who are who have some kind of a problem with their psyche they will think at least 4 to 10 times before committing such acts until and unless those sort of punishments are brought about are executed and are executed with a uh, tremendous uh, speed so to say there that is what is speedy justice until and unless those sort of things are happening no one will be deterred to do and to commit and to repeat these incidents for years to come uh viewers i hope uh, you have been uh, kind enough to hear me out uh, till the end of this uh, uh, audio and do post your comments thoughts on this what i have shared with you thank you